Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today um, I have a review and a re special request. Um, I had a lady on Facebook actually um, comment about uh, transfer foils and um, how to use them. So, um, and Born Pretty store was kind enough to send me two products to try out. So, perfect opportunity. I killed two birds with one stone. Um, so I get to try out these items that they sent me and also try and uh, go over how to use transfer foils. Um, so first item that the uh, Born Pretty store has sent me is a transfer painting gel. So this is um, a gel that you would hear uh, for the, um, the foil. Sorry, mind blank. <laughs> so this is um, a gel. So on my, um, this is Willow. Willow says hello to everybody. Uh, she has kindly offered up. Oh, now I can't open this. Ugh. Oh, got it. Holy. Woo. So, let's see what this is like. So, it's like a thick um, builder gel almost. It's a thick consistency. So, let's, let's apply this all to Willow. I don't know how many nails I'm going to do, but we'll do two for sure. So this is the gel version. I'm also at the end, um, I will do a, um, I'll show you what it's like. If you don't use gel, then you can use a air dry um, gel or transfer foil glue. So this one is gel based, whereas the other one is air dry. Okay, so I'm just going to do two nails for the moment, so hang on one sec. Okay, so while that's curing, um, oh, this is the order number for this uh, foil. Now it is like a pink marble. I thought this one was super pretty. It's really long. Um, it's like 24 inches, I'd say. It's actually quite long. So what I'm going to do is... Where's my scissors? There they are. So... I hate when things get stuck to my silicone mat. So I'm just going to cut off a few pieces. So let's do three. So I'm going to do the two nails. I'm just put that aside so I don't wreck it. And then I want to do Okay, so let's get. So there's a couple ways that you can. So you always try and make sure that you put the right side down. So this is the shinier side and then that's the, the back side. So you can tell that it's not as pretty. So that side will go down. So the not so pretty side will go down. So basically attach it. Now you can use your finger um, you can use a silicone tool, you know, your fingernail. And I just kind of rub until it basically comes up. I find it's easier to rub um, because one, I have more control and I can kind of feel it. 
especially if you're doing it on someone else you don't want to you don't want to rub too hard so sometimes I'll use my fingernails it's kind of like when you're a kid and you had the little fake tattoos kind of like that and then as it comes up you'll see I wonder if I put enough of this stuff on I don't have this much trouble. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if it would be better to use that. So, I much prefer my finger usually, but let's try silicone too. See if that makes a difference. So normally when I, I use a transfer foil, I also make sure I use um, a color close to whatever transfer foil. So if it doesn't show up, like if I have a missing patch, then it's not so noticeable. So that's why I chose white because there, there's a fair bit of, I guess I could have gone pink or gold even. So, as you can see, some of it's coming. I don't know why. Maybe I cured it too long. So normally, I never have this much issue. Okay, let me do one more on here. Okay, so I'm back, and let's try another piece of foil, let's see how this one does. So, because honestly, oh, and what I'm going to do, this is a um, regular polish, so it's sinful colors, back on black. So, what I'm going to do... Um, and this is Full Beauty um, Foil, Nail Foil Adhesive Glue. This is an air dry version. So I want to kind of show you, you know, some people don't use gel polish. So I wanted to show you. So there you can see it's kind of milky, kind of white. I'm just kind of making sure I go all the way to the edges. Okay, so we're just going to let this air dry and I'll show you. Move the other one out of the way. Okay, let's go back to this guy. Let's see if I did something wrong. Okay. 
I do love this foil. It's so pretty. Um, I like pink and I like the marble look for it. So I am quite pleased with that. But for some reason, this transfer foil stuff. Isn't working the greatest for me. The born pretty's not gonna like this, <laughs> but sorry. I only show you the what happens for me. Whatever happens, happens. I tell you the truth. So don't lie. I don't know if it's user error, but I've never had an issue. So as you can tell, as it starts to stick, it um, it will release from the paper, and some of it's not really. Let's get back in there. Yes, yeah, so it's not sticking very well for some reason. Hmm. It looks kind of cool, but it's not the effect that I want. Okay, I'm going to try She Modern Glue Gel. This one is a gel base as well. I want to see if I'm doing something wrong. I'm just going to compare it. So, putting on minus the dog hair. Putting on about the same amount. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. Let's use the other half of this guy. So I don't want to waste it. I like this foil. It's so pretty. Just having a bad foil day today, or what? Like, oops. Maybe I should have tried it on myself instead of Willow. Sorry, Willow. So this one's working better. More of it's coming off. Uh, I did 30 seconds, which I did 30 seconds on these. Well, this one actually, I pushed the 90, so that was way too much. So that's why I did the 60 seconds. But I did 60 seconds on this guy too. And look, way better. So, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> okay, so this is the air dry uh, nail foil glue. As you can tell, it has um, totally gone clear. So that means it is now ready um, to go. So basically, I make sure I have the right side and then I apply it. Preferably not, I try not to get wrinkles, but sometimes it can't be helped. So I'm just gonna use this on here because it's a little easier for me. So usually I try and push down in the center and then go to the sides. Um, and then that way it kind of smooths out wrinkles. 
things you don't get. Starting to stick. Do do do. Maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. I don't want to rub somebody's finger right off. <laughs> a little bit of wrinkle in there um, but I'm going to show you another technique what I really like to do I'm going to do I find I don't know maybe it's just me um, I like doing um, like little patches instead of doing full nails so I find they get better coverage for some reason okay so next we're gonna do this glue oh sorry Willow I got glue all over you Okay. Hang on, I'm just going to put this in the lamp. One moment. Okay, so what I'm doing is, oh, I don't know if you've seen my video, but that's how I started um, storing some of my uh, foils the ones that don't come in like little bags or whatever um, what I did or like boxes I got some um, that come in little boxes but the ones that don't what I do is I get a little bobby pin so I'm just getting a couple pieces and then what I do is put it on the end and I roll it up not too too tight and I hold the end pull the bobby pin out and then put it like that and then I can get a lot in this little tiny container so Willow. Okay, so now this other way I like to do is I kind of like to do like patches. So you take your foil and you kind of put So depending on how much or how little you want, um, you just touch different edges. So it's a neat way of covering the whole nail. Um, and using up like your little bits and pieces. So basically it'll stick where 
like it has glue left. So you just kind of put it on, rip it off like a band-aid. So it's a good way of using up foils and it's a good way to get full coverage and it's great to do little designs like it's pretty cool. I like that. I like those colors together. So that's another way of doing it. See I don't think I got all the way to the edges. Look at that. That looks kind of funky. Okay, my air dry one's not quite dry. So I'm going to try this one again because I'm a little frustrated that I didn't get this one working. I don't know if it was me or I didn't put enough on. I don't want to put too much. Okay. I'll be back. One sec. Okay. While I'm waiting for that, I am... So this is the black one. This is regular nail polish. So, same idea. I really like using these kind of foils, um, the sparklier ones for some reason all oh, they show up nicer so I, so I never throw away my my little scraps I always I always keep them and then this way you can do different designs and you use them up I'm frugal that way <laughs> kind of nail design actually looks pretty cool and I just kind of go all over the nail so I actually really like this this is this looks like a cool design okay Willow. I cut enough. Oh, actually, probably not wide enough. So this transfer foil works well doing the patch work but I don't think it worked as well Oops. doing a full cover now this foil is gorgeous I love this foil it's so pretty So worst case scenario, what I can do is I can reapply and I would go all over. And then put it in the lamp and then redo it so if you do miss a spot and it bugs you I would do this um, overall um, 
it's not bad the transfer I don't know if it's you it's if it's Suzanne error or not it's eh. I don't know but an 8 out of 10 um, for doing a full cover it works fine with um, doing the, the patch work I find it's really pretty um, and, it, and um, this foil and this is the number I'll leave I'll leave the links and that to it on in the description box but look at the designs on here super super pretty I do really like this um, so I'm pleased with the foil oh, I need to cut off another piece of the foil to see if I can do some more patchwork um, they give you a lot of the foil for your money which is which is really nice you get a big um, a big sheet which is decent and it comes in its own little containers so that's cute let's see Again, over Willow, Let's see if I can. I probably could have just gone to the edges where it was missing instead of doing the full thing again. So in this case, I'm just gonna go around the sides. Oh, you know what? Oh, sorry. Willow, you're falling apart on me, girl. Um, you know what would look really pretty is if I put like a gold edge around there. That would look nice. And then you wouldn't be able to see my little missing edges. So anyway, I've never had problems with it like that. So, so yeah, there, <laughs> there you have it. A um, few different ways. So that's that's with the foil glue, and this is with the foil glue with a full transfer, and that's with patchwork. Oh. And to cover it up, um, what I would do is I would use a smudge-free or, or a water-based top coat. Um, so either Maniology, I know Born Pretty, actually, oh, where is it? Here, this, Born Pretty, this number, I knew I had one, 39350 is the order number. And this is a water-based top coat. You are um, better to put the water-based top coat on um, top of the foil, and then um, once it's dry, then do your fast dry top coat. Or once it's totally dry, you can also put gel over it, but you would need, um, if you're doing gel you don't need the wa the water-based top coat you just do your gel top coat but if you're doing regular top coat I would do a fast dry top coat than your regular polish top coat because if the regular polish top coat will wrinkle your foils so okay I 
think that's everything. If you've got more questions, let me know down below. Um, I do want to thank Born Pretty for sending me these items to try out. Um, and if you have used this product, and if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. Because I hate to, you know, say bad things about bad, you know, products. I mean, I love Born Pretty products. Um, this one just happened to not work so well for me. At least not with full cover transfer. For regular transfer, or like spot transfer, works great. So, anyway, I'm making this video way longer than it should be. I thank you so much for hanging out with me while I play around and um, I hope you guys are staying safe and um, thank you to Willow for hanging out with me. I love you guys and remember, be someone sparkle. Bye! Did you guys get a new toy? <laughs> Let's see. I gotta get my teeth. My hand bit. <laughs> did you get the toy, Bubbles? Hey, did you get the toy? Oh, Daisy, quit licking. <laughs> Holy. The toy is soaking wet. <laughs> Oh, it's getting vicious. <laughs> hey! You guys, I think I'm gonna break this up. They're getting scary. Say hi, Daisy. Stop licking me. <laughs>